Hiya guys, back out again. This time I want to do a long term camp out. So I bought myself an Arctic tent and I've got all my gear up here. I've run to the hills, as they say, but I think it's a good move. You know, it just gives you that isolation and temptation to seeing your, your friends. So, you know, you, you tend to stay more disciplined in the woodland in regards to to isolating yourself from from everybody but it's quite it's quite full on when you first get here because you've got everything to do really impressed with this arctic tent it's a 10 man tent this is going to be the the kitchen area the Oz tent i've got all my stocks in here we've got all tin foods potatoes fruit cocktail Sauces, so it's all, all canned goods, spaghetti, more beans, more dry stores, a lot of spices that Mrs. Bushwhacker mixes with the, the pastas and, uh, and the rices, breads, pot noodles, a few little sweets, treat ourselves, trying to kind of ration the sweets a little bit because we're all a bit partial to them. I've got me Bertrand. Meals, two tins of coffee, three tins of coffee there I think. Sundays, one of these with a few new potatoes. Best commodity in the UK at the yeah. moment. <laughs> this is like gold dust. You never thought a toilet roll no. would be worth so much, would you? No. Then my little shower bag. I filled that up with water I collected from the other day. This is my lean-to. I've made some improvements to this as well as I'm gonna stay up here quite a while. Morning guys, day six, bit of a blustery one last night, but settling in now. Kind of, it's taken about six days to, to organise everything, everything in its place. That's split quite nicely that. Just chilling out inside the in the tent. Just waiting for the, the rain to subside. It's warm today, that's about it's gonna be about 14 degrees, which is which is quite nice. So as soon as that sun pushes through, hopefully later, I can get my bedding out and start drying it off. It's not wet, it's just it's just damp. Wash day. I've set up my little portable shower. So I'm just going to put a, a bucket of water in here today and have a kind of strip wash. But as, as the weather gets warmer, I'm going to set me shower up and have a shower in there. So I heat my water up on here, mix that with some cold. And then I've got my bar of soap and my flannel. I'll be diving in. Get the wood burner nice and warm to so come back in. Then I'll be a nice clean man. The further we move on from all those yesterdays, happiness gets nearer. The light that we see closing in so fast ahead It's hope, it's getting clearer The more I think of all the tough times we survived The more it makes me smile Another day Nothing's broken us You know woods never will Cause dreams are hard to kill had a lovely sleep last night after that gorgeous uh, roast. So it went down really well, really enjoyed that. Went to bed on a full stomach. 
14 days and today birch tapping just made some basic taps drilled some holes in the in the birch trees just collecting all that amber nectar nice bit of wholesomeness from nature so I've got four of these set up if you've never tried it it's got a lovely sweet taste A nice bit of morning bannock. That's really nice. Like a health camp, isn't it? <laughs> Vitamin D. Nice bannock, fish, and a walk. I'll be well healthy when I go home. If I go home. I've made two stoves today. A little rocket stove. I've drilled a hole in the side and in the top. I'll just give it a little burn just to open up the holes. It's really good if you want to make a quick brew and you don't want to light the whole fire. And then I've made myself a little Swedish. I've just split the wood into four sections and just took the corners off. I'm going to fill that with some birch bark and some little pieces of birch and uh, spark that up. So two outdoor stoves. I do like making these stoves when you've got plenty of time. And plenty of time is what I have. So we've had about eight litres of birch sap from the birch trees of this woodland. So I'm gonna give them a rest now. I'm gonna put the plugs back in and uh, they'll seal up and we'll harvest it for another year. So it's really productive. Plug nicely. Just uh, increasing the vegetable patch, making it a bit bigger as I've worked out <coughs> roughly the seeds I've got. It's going to be too many, so try and make it a little bit bigger. I'm hoping to get the tomatoes down that area. Regards to everything, still really comfortable. It's, uh, it's been quite a duration now and uh, really enjoying it. It's a bit of a a damp day. We've had one one or two quite nice days. Yesterday I've done a bit of archery and trying to do a, an hour archery. I'll have to show you guys our archery every day. Just to keep my skills in. And I've done a little bit of crossbow action which you see the other day. That crossbow is unbelievable. 
So I've got that up here. I've got my my 2-2 uh, rifle up here as well. So <coughs> that'll be uh, that'll be useful. Cool. Aeroplane. Haven't heard one of them for a while. Some of you kind of suss what I'm doing and what I am doing is um, I brought the whole family into the woodland. You know we've got all the gear. We, we're quite we're quite good in the woodland. problem that has been affecting us is mice you know I love them they they're here we, they deserve their right here more than us but they're getting into our food stores so I bought a few mouse traps and if things do get tight it's gonna be mice on the menu the first garlics come through so well chuffed with that just watered the uh, vegetable patch we've had no rain now for about four days which I'm not complaining about but it's uh, just keeping on top of the watering really camps going well I'm going well dogs going well Louise and Becky are going well so we're uh, we're thriving and the leaves are starting to come on the trees so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be uh, beautiful up here. Lots of vitamin D, lots of exercise, honing my skills as well. I think it's uh, a lot of people are gonna have a big change when this is all over. People are gonna think a bit differently about things, and hopefully a bit more community spirit amongst people rather than going out for the game. What a beautiful day, I think it's the warmest day this year, I think it's about 17 degrees today, so I'm just um, finishing off my, my other longbow, I'm trying to make a, a more powerful longbow, so I've just been doing this, just tillering it down, then I'm going to string it up, and then uh, have a few shots with it, so I'm really pleased with that. What a difference a day makes. Twenty-four hours a day. Who sings that then? Oh. Don't you know? No idea. It was Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> what a difference a day makes. Morning guys, been up about half hour, kettle's on, nice cup of coffee, going to split some wood today, I think this week's going to turn a bit colder, so get a bit more wood in. Nice big fire, I think the order of the day, still nice and cold so burn some of the dead wood on the floor keep the troops warm but it's been intermittent with snow showers and bright sunshine and wind so mixed bag today so a nice chicken stew there that's on for later for us lot gonna enjoy that nice slow simmer it's gonna be gorgeous isn't it girls oh yeah, yeah. 
Go on, Louise, have another go at that. Got to get it really deep. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! So we're treating ourselves tonight because we've uh, we've all had a busy day wood prepping. Cheers, Mum. Really nice of you. a nice stool there and uh, put a back on it. I'm going to call it the Dick Brennicky chair. Like, uh, <coughs> he's quite an amazing guy. I like his two stools that he had outside of his cabin. So it's almost finished, just a few little bits here and there. It's a nice rustic stall. Really enjoying my time up here. You know, this is uh, my second time round of doing a, a you know a long term camp out in the woodland and uh, thoroughly thoroughly enjoying it. It's uh, it's a privilege really to to spend time in in the woodland and um, like Louise's book said it, um, you know spending time in in the woodland uh, recalibrates the system to, to how it should work and respond and uh, brain energy using different parts of the cortex of the brain because you're so hammered in in society with with technology, you know. She was reading it to me yesterday, and 15 minutes a day in the woodland is so health beneficial. It's unbelievable. So I hate to think how healthy I am, and I love the way nature slows you down. You know, it just decompresses you and makes you move to its pace not our rushed pace that we we tend to live in it's just been so peaceful I think it was a, a good a good choice to come up here a good decision should I say it's uh, it's done me a world of good and, and the girls and Mrs Bushwhacker seem to uh, to be liking it. I just knocked up a little bowl, same kind of procedure as last time, and I'm planting a few tree saplings. I'm gonna plant a few different species and have a few bonsais. I do love uh, miniaturizing trees. I wanted to do it before in the past, but never really got round to it. So I'm gonna give that a go. And I've been rubbing down my bowl. It's nearly at the final stages so I'm really pleased with that we've wore out our straw target so Mrs Bushwhacker kindly devised a nice target for us so it's a bit of padding in a bag with a with a hessian bag wrapped right around the outside with with a load of foam inside and it works quite well quite impressed Much and better. it sounds good I know it sounds like you're actually hitting something because that straw one was getting a bit be raggled. Oh, listen to that. Good old Mrs. Bushwhacker shines again.
Skelet tus. Oh, lovely shooting. What do you think of that target then? It's not too sharp, is it? Okay, it's awesome. But what a lovely day to spend time at the camp. Can't get better than this really. These are the days that I absolutely adore. So it's been a really warm day and it's gonna be a quite a mild night. So I'm gonna jump in the hammock tonight, give it a break from the tent and enjoy the uh, cathedral ceiling, I think. So I'm just going to put my under blanket on and I'll be uh, nice and cosy. Probably a couple of hours left of, of sunlight. It's been a really warm one today. Uh, 23, 24. So <clears throat> I've had to really give the vegetables a good soak in today. Because the, the sun's just, uh, just beating down on that patch. But oh, this is phenomenal weather. But look at the woodland now. It's really leafing up. Once these beech come out, it's going to be like the Amazon. Another day on in lockdown. Gorgeous day. Just uh, been up this morning, done dummy watering. The potatoes are doing really well. Nature's doing really well, and I'm I'm doing well as well. It's, oh, it's stunning now. Been up since about six o'clock. Just been pottering around, doing bits and pieces. But no, camps are uh, camps looking nice. Mrs. Bushwork has made a, made a couple of little tables. She's been busy doing a bit of cooking and stuff. So yeah, no, it's been uh, it's been thoroughly thoroughly enjoyable. So this is a great addition to the camp. Sitting here, swinging around, brings back my childhood. You sit here and you tend to think of the old days, all the fun you used to have on a swing. How simple, but how enjoyable. What a, another gorgeous day. What a lovely spring evening walk. Enjoying the bluebells, the fragrance is something else. So there's a, a small window to enjoy the bluebells. I thought I'd uh, bring you along. Louise is with me as well, so 
gorgeous time of year. Can't beat spring. Morning guys, water collection's going well. Probably got about 40, 50 litres. It started raining about four o'clock. But now I appreciate it for the rain today. Hopefully it'll keep uh, it'll keep going for a few hours. Try and fill them them big water butts up. So I'm really, really pleased with my day's water collection. So that's pretty full. I've been using the, the wheelbarrow on the other top. And then this one is almost there. It's been a, a great day for water collection, absolutely loved it. My first time like full on collecting water, bucking it up and moving it from the wheelbarrow. And uh, at one point it was hard keeping up with it, but I reckon, I don't know, I reckon that's about 150 litres actually in them, in them barrels. That's 300, 300 litres of water for my veggies, which have uh, much appreciated the rain I think today. Now. It's a sticky job that someone's got to do. ingredient how is it mm. nice
what's in there then? So Mrs B's curry paste and uh, got a home delivery and she's knocking up a nice chicken curry. Oh, oh. That'll knock your socks off tonight, girls. Nice bit of bannock there, Louise. Yeah, sure is. Very nice. Louise is on wood prep. Keeping two fires going today, aren't you, Louise? Yeah. Busy task. Do you want a book recommendation? Yeah. This new bad boy. The Awakened Ape. Yeah. For that, guys. Nice campfire. Eating butter kissed. Well, these toffee, toffee popcorn. Well, I can eat quite a few of these because I've, I think I've dropped about eight pounds since I've been here. Have you? No. Yeah, you have been pretty active, haven't you? Lots of dough. I've decided to stack all my logs up around the Arctic tent, give it a bit more protection from the elements. I was going to try and bed them all in with some soil, but I, th I think I'll leave them like that. And as I need the wood, I can gain it as I want it. So it kind of works as two purposes. So we've got a double skin tent now. That outer skin is going to be awesome in the winter, keep extra heat in the arctic tent and uh, stop that wind, it's like a proper dwelling in there now along that side, it doesn't move at all in that wind, so awesome winter shelter and if there's a lot of moss I might, I might chink all the gaps. So we're getting a bit gusty winds in me three year old DD tarp ripped as you see. So it's finally uh, finally come to its last resting place I think. That was my water collection system. The 
the rain and wind subside. It's turned out a nice, nice day. So I've cracked on this morning and uh, moss the top of me wood store. So a lot of the mosses uh, come back to life with all that rain. And I've started chinking the, the side wall. Uh, roasted chicken, peppers, avocado, a few spices on the chicken. I'm a happy man. So a nice echo falls to wash it down. It's a great bit of carving. It's a great project when it's raining. We've been at it for about four hours today, keeping out the rain. So pretty pleased with that. That's out of a bit of beach. But the sun's finally coming through. And we've knocked up a little table as well. Needed another flat surface table. I wanted to show you my finished carving. Just needs a few more coats of olive oil. So they're all nicely done, nicely finished. Struggling with a few plants really. I've been attacked by slugs on a few potatoes Sweet corn's coming through, but I'm gonna have to probably do a soil test or a revamp next year because I think maybe the soil's a bit acidic Really loving this fireplace. I built this probably a week ago Those are spare rock we had around my mother and father-in-laws so I bought all that up and then started building this. I did start it with flint, but uh, I think these rocks really suit the fireplace. Well, I've got a nice grate there, brilliant for putting your pots and pans on. I'm do currently gonna do a, an egg on toast for me and Mrs. B. And then here I've got a, a hot stone and I've channeled that section out there so it acts like an oven as well as a as a hot plate I still kept me hangers so I can do like a Dutch oven cook up or keep a kettle just ticking over once it's boiled and a bar across here for hanging bits and pieces with the rocks once you've built up the heat in the fireplace just the heat just bounces back here so it's gonna be lovely for the winter I do like an egg on toast in the morning. And I expect Mrs. B does as well. Mm -hmm. Let's make ourselves a burger. Mm 
That is nice. The onion, the garlic, the herbs, the whiskey, the cheese, the whole shebang. Oh. I think my mouth's big enough. It's a 35 degree today and it's hot already. So I think I'll be lounging around in this. I think it's going to be in the record books today. Could reach 37. 37 for England. That is hot, hot, hot. So Becky just washing the potatoes down that we harvested this morning. So we've got potatoes and chicken for dinner. What is it? Six and one then? You having the other six? Yeah, sure's. So a nice drop of butter on them homegrown new potatoes. I'll tell you what, that's nice. Them potatoes are really creamy, aren't they? Yeah, the they're lovely. Straight out of the ground this morning. Straight on the plate. Reward him. Straight out of the supermarket. Straight on the fire. so hot the last seven or eight days and uh, finally it's it's give way to this big storm so it's gonna be exciting be so hot but if you can hear it it's starting so the birds have all gone quiet it's gone really really still so I'm quite excited. I do like a, a change in the weather, especially when there's a good storm. The power of uh, Mother Nature is so impressive. So it's batting down the hatches, I think. So here comes the rain. So that's the end of the storm, it's calmed down nicely. Right, let's get this coffee percolating. Great start to the day, nice hot coffee. Lovely fire.
planes have started up again. I didn't miss them at all. So, a bit of archery. Oh, it definitely takes a while to warm up. So I like to be uh, forward thinking. I think it's the most important thing to do. It, some people don't enjoy it, but I, I love wood, wood processing. It's uh, it's everything, and that wood, everything for you. It's amazing how you get excited over wood. But autumn is here. The leaves won't be long now. They'll be dropping. So, and the beautiful colours, I can't wait for that. So I've seen spring, summer, and now autumn. Try and go through the depths of winter as well. See how I get on. And uh, then I've, I've done a full a full year. Be great, obviously, you know, popping back, but predominantly I've spending, been spending all my time up here. So Mrs B's turned up, get her straight to work. So Mrs B's been busy this morning, she's knocking up her framework for her camp. So it's looking pretty good. And I think she's going to weave some sticks in and out and uh, make it quite a natural shelter. It's got a little area that she can uh, do her bits and pieces. It's nice to see women doing bits and pieces like that. Gonna make a nice uh, tree stand so I can have a, a better view of the woodland. Watch nature at a higher level. So it's gonna give me about 10 foot of extra height. Gonna build a little platform at the top so I can just go up the ladder and sit on the platform. So it's gonna be ideal. I'll climb up there with you guys and you can see the view. That's great up here. It's a lovely spot. So it's giving me about 10, 11 foot off the ground. So a great viewing point at the camp. So a lovely evening again and a great day. This liner is phenomenal. Put this liner in, it's made such a difference. The warmth, the brightness with the lights, really, really chuffed with it. So when the temperatures drop, it's gonna, it's gonna pay great dividends. It's creating that nice bit of dead air space between the two materials. So things are really changing, the seasons really taking hold now but it's hard getting used to them them dark nights now it gets dark about half past four so it's a it's a long night so loving my time and the colors now you well you've seen now on my previous video colors are beautiful like I said it's a lovely time of year to spend time in the woodland it's great really great I'm hoping this year we get some snow and that will be a a great finish to my my year long camp out I'll finish it off a tree so I'm having a rake up of the leaves barring them up and making use of them putting them in the compost heap let them rot down and be able to use them next year So 
it's a real blustery one. A bit of rain thrown in and all. So I'm going to down on the waterproofs, I think, and uh, go out for a nice stroll. Love walking in the rain. serious uh, rain today. I'm going to leave this wood burner on pretty much all late afternoon and evening now. Dry everything out, dry myself out. This is what I love guys. Soaking wet, me and Buster are. And it's cold and you come in into your nice tent. Nice dry wood spark the burner up, make a nice coffee, hot water on tap, can't beat it. So cosy. Just going to put the tent for a real test, it's been up nine months now and I'm asking it to see me through the winter. I haven't done any preparations to it or waterproofed it since the day I got it. And it's still still a beast of a tent. I've camped out for many years but never never ever done a long term uh, winter camp. So this has been my first experience of an English winter, although it's it's not as savage as some countries but it's still still pretty harsh. You still, you know, you've got that damp environment, which a lot of countries haven't got, so that makes it quite hard. All your clothes, bedding, shoes, you know, your whole your equipment's damp, so you've you've got to keep keep the fire on. You've got to keep the wood burner going to keep everything from going mouldy. It's about four degrees and rain all day, I think today. So I thought perfect time to spark this up. And then hopefully when that's burnt through I'm gonna make a nice a nice chair so it's got a double use. So what I'm trying to achieve is is an even burn over the four sections because they'll be the legs. So I'll just keep rotating it even even burn it's burning out quite nicely more work on it then I might sand it down and she'll be good to go I think very comfortable it's a good height as well it's a chilly one today Slept like a log in there, lovely and warm. But I'm hoping this is going to turn and maybe get a bit of snow. They promised us a bit of sleet, so I'm just uh, hoping for the white stuff. So I'm keeping busy, got the outside fire on, prepared some wood for inside, a bit more wood for tonight. So I'll dive in there a bit later when it when it drops and. Uh, Warm it all through in there for later. But no, I love, I love this. This is, this is great.
Beautiful guys. <laughs> What a result, wake up this morning, a nice drop of snow, awesome, so straight out of bed, straight on with a waterproof and straight out with a camcorder, I don't think we've got long because it looks like it's turning sleety so it's not going to stay around too long, so I'm going to enjoy it while I can. It's a shame the snow's turned a bit sleety now and the temperature's gone up a little bit so it's all going. Let's have a nice fire and a nice cook up later, get some hot food down. Thai green tonight. Nice and spicy, is it? Yeah, very spicy. You like a spicy curry, do you? Yeah. What have you got in there? Chicken, courgettes, onion, and Thai green paste. Yeah, and some coconut milk, which we're going to add now. Just what the doctor ordered this weather. Sitting outside on the little garden area, sun's come out. So it's a very beautiful day for Jan. If you think this morning it was snowing, and now we're sitting out here. No, oh, thanks very much, Louise. Very nice. I'm gonna get up and have another helping. Cheers. Lovely. Nice girls. Mm, yeah. Very nice. Well done, Luke. Anything to say for Cheers, yourselves? Delicious. Anything to say for yourselves? Two twenty-one. Any New Year's resolutions? Enjoy the sun. Enjoy the sun, Becky. New Year's when race. When it comes out. Enjoy the great outdoors. Enjoy isn't it? the great outdoors. <laughs> I heard that before. Morning guys, minus one this morning, so a real healthy temperature, all the snow's pretty much gone, I've set up a trail camera as well in my nature reserve, I've just put that up this morning, so I'm going to see what comes in to uh, the little nature place, and I've cut a nice section of timber there, so it's going to be my little carving bench. Quite a full on day today. Nice to sit down and chill out inside the tent. So it's a nice fresh morning this morning. At minus three last night, so just going for a stroll just to warm up a bit.
you just can't beat this winter camping. Getting up in the morning and it's beautiful like this. The stillness and the crispness of it all. Camp chore day today. Got a nice coffee on. Preparing some um, kindling. Tend to do that every three days. But this is a lovely, uh, lovely little job. This. But this is a real important resource, kindling wood. The thing with long-term camping, you do tend to get into this mindset of organisation. Just getting everything down and making your life really easy. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this this winter series is see how comfortable I could actually get in uncomfortable temperatures. But it's something magical about about winter. It's just quiet and and still. It's really it's really magical. I've done winters before but never you know long term winter camping. Definitely, uh, definitely changes you, definitely hardens you up, I say that. Voila, there you go, Bex. Yes. That's pretty good. Like that. It's the sort of meal you need this weather. Mm. So a nice big snowstorm coming in. Half a foot would be nice. But definitely priority this morning, get that fire going, it's about minus one and a half, I think it was minus two last night, it's minus four tonight, so it's nice and, uh, nice and husky as they say. Really picturesque now. Awesome. Another couple of hours of this, I'll be well happy.
The Arctic tent's been absolute brilliant. It's got me through all the weathers and it's got a, a fair drop of snow on it now as well and it's still not leaking or bowing. What a tent, so happy with that. But it's where the Arctic should be in these conditions. It's what it was designed for. But it's so, so magical up here. Can't believe it. You know, I was praying for the snow back in summer I thought with them in hot temperatures we might get a an extreme deluge of snow and we have you know, it's a privilege for us down sort of southeast of England to get snow like this we get a sprinkle now and again but this is uh, this is quite a lot for us I think it's about two and a half three inch in the end which is enough for us <laughs> this could be our lot for the for the year it's uh, it's cracking on now, it's February, and I've noticed the lights a lot better in the evenings, it's not so dark, and when that sun comes out now, you, you, there's quite a bit of warmth in that. But, you know, like I said in my other videos, don't put your gear away in the winter, get get your gear out. It's, it's phenomenal, it's, it's been great. Can't beat it, it's freezing cold and then you just get that fire going. Gorgeous. 